his lips to kiss you! Nice! What? I'm not afraid to hit a girl. I'm a rock star. Oh my god. You punched the highlights out of her hair. He punched the highlights out of her hair! You are incorrigible. I don't know the meaning of the word. So, uh, you guys doing anything fun while you're in town? Fun. In Toronto. <laughs> that is it! You cocky cock! You'll pay for your crimes against humanity! <laughs> can be vegan. Ovo-lacto-vegetarian, maybe. Ovo what? I partake not in the meat, nor the breast milk, nor the ovum of any creature with a face. Short answer, being vegan just makes you better than most people. Bingo. Hey man, question? I always wondered, how does not eating dairy products give you psychic powers? Okay. You know how you only use 10% of your brain? That's because the other 90% is filled with curds and whey. Did you learn that at Vegan Academy? Go ahead and get snippy, baby. If you knew the science, maybe I'd listen to a word you say. If I peed my pants, would you pretend I just got wet from the rain? It's not raining. Oh. Then why don't you give me the cliff notes on how and why you ended up dating this a-hole? Is that really important right now? Well, if there's a key element in his backstory that's gonna help me out in a critical moment of not dying, yes. I was only dating Lucas until the minute Todd walked by. I guess that's not very nice, but I used to be kind of like that. We hated everyone. We wrecked stuff, nobody cared. He punched a hole in the moon for me. It was pretty crazy. A week and a half later, he told me his dad was sending him to Vegan Academy, so I dumped him. Have you dumped everyone you've ever been with? You've never been the dumpy? Look, I've dabbled in being a bitch. It's part of the reason I moved here. I was really hoping to just leave it all behind me. Hey, lovebirds. We have unfinished business, I and he. He and me. Don't you talk to me about grammar. I dislike you, capiche? Tell it to the cleaning lady on Monday. What? Because you'll be dust by Monday. Um. Because you'll be pulverized in two seconds. And the cleaning lady, she cleans up. Dust. She dusts. So, so, so what's on Monday? Because well, it's Friday now. She's the weekends off, so Monday, right? <sighs> Basically, you can't win this fight, so you're gonna have to give up on this girl because Todd's gonna kill you. You used to be so nice! <laughs> We're gonna go to Pizza Pizza for a slice. Call us when you're done. Oh, he'll be done real soon. Sounds like someone wants to get funky.
thoughts. Your will is broken. You're through. What say we drink to my memory? Fair trade blend with soy milk? Ha! <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's pathetic. Dude, I can see in your mind's eye that you put half and half into one of those coffees in an attempt to make me break vegan edge. I'll take the one with soy. Thanks, Tool. Actually, muchacho, I poured the soy in this cup, but I thought real hard about pouring it in that cup. You know, in my mind's eye or whatever. What are you talking about? You just drank half and half, baby. Freeze! Vegan police! Vegan police! Todd Ingram, you're under arrest for veganity violation. Code number 827. Five and a half and a half. It's bull roar. No vegan diet, no vegan powers! But, but... Uh, it's only my first offense, so don't I get three strikes? I mean, take it. At 12.27 a.m. on February 1st, you know only ingested gelato. Gelato isn't vegan. It's milk and eggs, bitch. On April 4th, 7.30 p.m., you partook a plate of chicken parmesan. <gasps> chicken isn't vegan? The de-vegan eggs, Ray. Hit him! <laughs> Once were a vegan, but now you will be gone. Vegan. Ah, <sighs> uh, sorry, I guess. Sorry. You just headbutted my boyfriend so hard he burst. You kicked my heart in the ass, so I guess we're even. <laughs> <laughs>